Hi, this is Dave from Zachu Punch Headquarters. Let's build the PC trifecta. Some of you may be old enough to remember how our lives changed with the introduction of these three machines. Wow. Let's build the crappiest one first, and we'll save the best for last. This was the machine you could buy at Radio Shack, right? Were you supposed to put it together yourself? I don't know, but it was terrible to work with. It felt like a toy, like a game console, but not as sturdy, more plasticky. It had a Z80 processor and cost about $600 as a bundle. It came out just in time for Christmas in 1977. My less fortunate friend John had to make do with one of these, but it came in handy when we showed up for data processing class. And guess what? This was the machine we were supposed to work with. Next, we'll move on to this machine, which achieved the greatest commercial success of the three. I'll have to admit, I loved the way the top panel came off, and you could add or upgrade the memory or add graphics cards or sound cards. This machine also came out in 1977 and was one of the earliest to put CPU and memory all on one motherboard. But the biggest differentiator, which is hard to imagine these days, is that it output color to a display. As such, you could connect it to your TV, or you could buy a monitor that was specially made for it but it costs twice as much as the other two. Here's my favorite, the one that dominated the scene in our household. A Canadian company, but coming on strong, they were the first microcomputer to fit all in one housing. Today we take that sort of thing for granted, but remember there were decades during which a computer always had at least a keyboard, a monitor, and a tower. This one came out in January, but shipped for the first time in October. It came with either 8 or 16 kilobytes of RAM and 18K of ROM, which contained the basic programming language. These are super easy to put together. That's why there are no instructions. They're just boxes of different shapes that you fold together. Occasionally, you have to figure out which sides to mate together to make the rest of it easy, but it's pretty easy, and you people are supposed to be smart. So this is Dave signing off from Zachu Punch Headquarters.